ignition and lift off. A potentially historic space launch took place in Florida on Thursday. A moon lander was sent on a mission to become the first US lunar touchdown in more than half a century. And it aims to be the first moon landing by a privately owned spacecraft. The Nova Sea lander, named Odysseus, was built by Houston-based aerospace company Intuitive Machines. It lifted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center shortly after 1am local time atop a Falcon 9 rocket flown by Elon Musk's SpaceX. The flight is carrying six NASA payloads of instruments designed to gather data about the lunar environment. NASA wants the info ahead of its planned return of astronauts to the moon later this decade. Plans call for Odysseus to reach its destination after a week-long flight on February 22nd. If successful, the flight would represent the first controlled descent to the lunar surface by a US spacecraft since the final Apollo crewed moon mission in 1972. Separation confirmed. It would also mark the first journey to the lunar surface under NASA's Artemis moon program. The US is racing to return astronauts to the moon before China lands its own crewed spacecraft there. NASA announced last month it was delaying its target date for a first crewed landing from 2025 to late 26. China has said it was aiming for 2030.